Cain, really in congregation, this is a hot topic in the aspect of we're talking about what is the big issue? Child support. Should uh, they say, okay. Okay, okay. okay, sir, you're going to have to pay $1,300 a month for one kid, maybe more for two kids. And then if you go down a different state, you might have to pay $600 a month. So should they be involved in the aspect of raising, telling you what you need to do for your kids? Well, since you're going there, because there's a lot of different ways you could have went mm-hmm. with. You could have went with schooling. You could have went with a lot of different things that the government does for your kids and, and their involvement. But however, when it mm-hmm. comes to um, how much money that needs to support the kid, I think that needs to be a conversation between the parents of that kid. I, I, I think that's what it needs to happen. That conversation needs to happen. So. You know, a lot of people's like, well, I can't talk to that person or I can't be around That's, that person. Yes. Uh yeah. that person is is abusive or whatever, right? I get it. It happens. But however, let's not get it to that point. Let's make an informed selection of your mate when you are dating hmm. and, and that type thing. Don't just go with whatever shining and glistening, ladies, men. Don't hmm. don't just do that. You see what I'm saying? I want you to to actually, you know, get involved and, you know, see what type of uh, man or woman that you are dating before you start bringing the kids into the world. Now, what's what are the reasons why the government needs to get involved with child care? Because what what we always hear, the man's running away from the relationship. Responsibilities. The, he's he's he don't want he'll rather just pay instead of being involved in a child's life. Have you ever thought that maybe the man is leaving the woman and not the child? Mm. Have you ever thought about that? You know, sometimes, you know, the uh, the guy just can't stand the woman. And to make to the, the sacrifice he's making is how about I just leave the situation? It's better for the child versus being there fighting, going back and forth, can't come on the same common ground. You know, like that can be one of the things why the guy left. Now, there's other things that happen, like he's in the streets and all that. But if he's in the streets and he's doing those type of things, she shouldn't be with him anyway. Thank you. Let's go. He, come on. Man, come on now. Y- y'all got to get it together and show some uh, accountability for your actions. You are picking these guys. They may be the guys that got the flashy money, the cars. They may be the guys that have that, um, what the young people call riz, <laughs> charisma. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That might be that type of guy or whatever, but you need to look past all of that and look for some foundational uh, attributes in that significant other. What do you think, Mitch? Well, um, you, you you put it down on that one. <laughs> but uh, just, just a couple of things on that. Okay, uh, okay. As far okay. as if they can come to some agreement. Yeah. It happens, but I think it's, it's it's rare that, okay, honey, I know we're not together, all of that, but I'm going to pay this amount of money. Are you cool with that? And she might run the numbers. Okay, well, I know if I did go to court, they probably would, what is it, 30% or 40%? Okay, I can deal with that, baby. But usually... We see it on the YouTube all the time where people, when I say greedy people, want as much as they can get. Now they know their significant other is with somebody else. I'm going to do what I can do to sabotage that relationship or to make him pay because we're not together again. We have to take the feelings out of it because can you hit on a good point? Okay. And it had to do with, I'll say the last couple of years of hearing this and thinking about it, really diving deep into it. It may not be that the man is just running away from the kids, from the responsibility, but everybody deserves peace. 
And if we can't cohabitate together and live in peace, I got to get away from it because what does it, it raise? The kids see us arguing all the time. The kids see us fussing all the time. The foul language. We don't want that. So somebody has to, to, to walk away. And yes, most of the time it's usually the man. Mm -hmm. And then I tell you this, ladies and gentlemen, later on down the line, those kids usually can develop some type of relationship and get the truth of the matter of what's going on. But are you men and women, are you willing to wait or whatever? Yeah, I can see my kid every now and then. I would like to play a more intricate part in that kid's life, but the 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 relationship but still between the mother and the father is usually strained and still bad. So in the aspect of the government getting involved and we right now we're just basically hitting on the child support issue right now we can talk about something else i will say if the man is not doing anything or the woman is not doing anything then i do say uh i am for having them help support that kid i do believe so you so you believe in Having the government as a middleman. Well, you're, if, you're okay with that. You're okay. With, I need, I, I need, I need the money be taken out of his account and then get given it to her and in, in, in her account. You need that me, middle person, right? Look, if if the the parent, whoever's getting the child support, if they are struggling, if they're you know because we we know in 2024, everything is expensive. Everything is, and if they need that that added income to help with the kids. Yes, I am for it. For everybody that wants to know. Yes, I am. Hmm. And, and, and that's only in the aspect, Kane. Yeah. If they can't come to terms and be like, hey, let's talk about this. Be civil about it. I can do this a month. That's going to help me with living my life and still providing for our child. If they can do that, that's great. But if they can't, and the person you don't just get to walk away. And I know Look, some ladies that let their guys walk away and want any, nothing to do with them. So, yeah. what's up? Uh, I'm just, I, I want to see what the congregation got to say. Congregation, what do y'all think about this? Mitch brought up the question. Look, should we get the government involved? Maybe there has to be um, extreme circumstances. Well, that hey, look, this woman, she got X amount of babies from X amount of baby daddies. Mm. And, and some of them are paying and some of them are not paying. And we oh, need to yeah. tr- it's, it's, it's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. And it can get crazy. What do y'all think? Should they, should, should it be as easy as sitting down knowing that you guys can't get along, but y'all can get along for the child and co-parent, you know what I'm saying? And maybe not even bring money involved. Maybe, if you're especially if you're close to uh, one another, just hey, we have the um, agreement that you know this child go with this parent at this particular time and this parent at this particular time. Can can that be done without even try to deal dive into who they dating now? You know what I mean? Because I think that gets in the way of the child. And I know sometimes it's a, a, a bad thing to say, but a lot of times especially when it comes to uh, dating and you, you want to be careful in who you want to introduce your child to. Yes. You know, especially if you're somebody you're dating, but however, th- a lot of them, they do get into their feelings, you know, th- both parties, they get into the feelings of who well, their kid you. is around because they don't know them. And if you're going to introduce this person, this got to be somebody that's really on point that is there and not yes. doing anything and put my uh, child in any type of danger. That would well, that would be my thing if you're going to go that route. But when it comes to having the government, the ideal way, man, look, the ideal way, just <sighs> pay, pain. come together, come together. How hard is that? But even for the kids' sake, even if you ha- you can't live together, but still come together, 
for the kids sake and have an agreement on who picks up who uh, uh, who pays for the child care who pays for the i don't know extracurricular whatever right like Kane. Kane, I was thinking while you was uh, you yeah. said a couple of interesting things, but it, it put me in the mind frame of maybe trying to revamp the the system and having the courts play this part. And you can let me know if you think it could work. Mm-hmm. Having the courts, so say, uh, have the the man and the woman. It's almost like a mediation. Okay, you're here to see what you can agree with about the child care before we have to get involved and mandate it. The only thing is both of y'all sit in this room, you know, they can have uh, maybe attorneys or whoever's going to help them mediate, but you can come up with this mediation process. Well, well, I, they do that, they, but they do, do they, that. They, they do do that with uh, marriage. That's more d- divorces. You yeah, know, yeah. you can do the mediation. No, yeah, you always, they always have that for that. Yeah. yeah, same thing, same thing. So they, they you that come to agreement care? what what is going to be paid and all this and that, right? Right. They come to that agreement, and they do that with divorcees or whatever. But uh, I'm just talking about just can we keep them out of the uh, system, period? Why do I need my child's Social Security number to be in anybody's system? Mm, oh, I, I I see what you're saying on that. You know, but, like uh, congregation, what y'all think? Am I am I right? Wrong? Uh, it has to be extreme circumstances. What do y'all think about? You know, uh, the I mean, having uh, your your child as an infant or whatever, and all the way up until 18 in the system. Yeah. But, and and I and I know that this happens, and some people probably can attest to this. But a lot of times, you know, uh, and I'm just talking about from the female perspective, where if they get mad at, at that particular um, ex, they yes. will call the police on them because they're back, and maybe they're in between jobs, and but she's she's mad at him for whatever reason, and calls the cops and get him arrested for back behind on child support and and that how does that look how does that how does that look for the actual child i understand you want to get your money right because it's for the child but uh, when you look back at it was it worth it to put the, the father in jail because he was in between jobs and he couldn't pay that particular month or two well, Kane, that, that's when those emotions come out because they find out that, hey, you with somebody that has a kid, and I heard you bought that kid a bike. <laughs> you see these little things uh, on the internet uh, that's ridiculous. Rolling yes, up to the boyfriend's yes, uh, yes. baby mother's or yes. his new girlfriend's mm-hmm. birthday party yep. at Chuck E. Cheese and creating a scene. Mm-hmm. All of these things. And yep. and I will say this. It's usually the, the younger uh adults that's doing these things but yeah. it, it really doesn't matter what age some things we gotta let go and really think about what's best for these kids as they grow up because they are seeing this okay you might think they're too young but they're seeing it and it's staying with them and what are we I, creating i you know i would suggest especially if there's a guy that's in this predicament right now um mm-hmm. That has a that that can't get along with their uh, baby mama, and they need to talk to um, the baby mama to find some type of agreement on the childcare and all of that stuff. I would say, you know, if if she's and she probably won't do it, but if she's saying, "Hey, look, give the child to the father. Any Mm. any money that she pays towards the childcare or any type of support for the child that will go into some type of savings or you know mutual fund whatever right something for the child because what i'm gonna do is work hard enough and i'm speaking from the male perspective i'm gonna be working hard enough where i don't need that extra money to take care of my child i should be able to take care of me and my child i should be at least be able to do that and if I have more than one, then I need to step my game up, right? Mm, let's go. You know, I need let's to. Let's go. 
So that that's what I would say. You may call it ridiculous. You may say, man, that's so far fetched. Ain't no in in the society and in, in the way that uh, 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 inflation is right now. I get it, but you know, I, and I'm speaking for me and me and make it happen. You look around. You look around. Everything that you see and that's been built, majority of men has put it together. So guaranteed, uh -oh. there's a job out there for me that can make me uh, 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 be able to afford to take care of my child, me and my child. And any other extra money, yes, I'll take that money, but I, have, I would put it towards a college fund or something for the child in the later years. I, not I like not to, not to get pampers and all that other junk. No, this is going to be for you because I'm going to do do what I need to do to take care of you with what I have. And any, any anything extra that comes, that's going to be for the child. You know what I mean? So I mean, I, and a lot of people are like, well, I ain't no way I could do that. Not with with my skill set or whatever. But hey, if you don't have that skill set, you don't need to be laying down to be making these kids. Right. You don't need to be doing all that. <laughs> And you know, you don't need to be out there reckless. You, you hit on a couple of things earlier when you said, and we we seen it and maybe known some people, uh, young ladies with three different baby daddies. Yeah. Sometimes more, you know, and wow. it's just, you know, you go from one, you get a boyfriend that don't work. Another boyfriend lay down another baby. And two of them are paying child support but i'm coming to see my kid or get my kid if i'm in that if i put myself in that situation well I see those other kids well now you want me to do for these kids too but you have my child but you want me to provide because you're not holding these individuals to the same standard to me that's 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 wrong and what you just said kane is Maybe the men, hey, I want to take you to court to get my kid, my kid or whatever. Are you saying more men should try to get their kids when they're yeah, in different situations to raise your kid? Yeah, and that yeah. would be a new dynamic. Yes. We know it happens sometimes. We, we, we had an individual uh, that had a, a beautiful story mm -hmm. that's raising his kids. Yeah. A rarity. Yeah. So Kane is saying, I'm going to agree with this 100%. Men, if you can, get the kids. Yes. And raise the kids. Yes. Why does it have to be like, you know, we know back in the day, 20 years, 30 years ago, that was unheard of mm -hmm. much. It's always the kids are going to go with the mother. the lady. Yes. With the yeah. mother. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So, man, we can. We can. We can do this. We yeah. could do this. Because. Because. I think that, you know, depending on who this woman chooses, but she needs to make her selection a little bit better. But mm -hmm. overall, men, we, we'd like to take care of our responsibilities. Yes. So we, we're we not going to even call for putting, them on, putting a mother on child support. No. Unless, no. Unless, the, unless that's what she wants to do or whatever. But we'll just make it happen. I, I You know, when, when you want to see your son or your daughter. Okay, then we can get that situated or whatever. But I, I don't need your money. I don't need your money. You need to get yourself together. That's how I would look at it. Get yourself together or whatever. Take care of your other kids or whatever. I got I got this one right here because this is my child. Roger that. Congregation, congregation, what y'all think? Let us know, man. In the comments, man. Let us know, man. We'll reach out to you. We'll respond. Uh, keep the conversation going after this, man. Give us the little thumbs up for the algorithm that get that pushes us out to a bigger audience right now. Right now, we got a small knit group, which is fine. I'm cool with the small knit group because mm -hmm. we can um, we can really relate. We're, we're very relatable, and like I said, we have these conversations offline, but. I want to cast that net a little wider because I know there's some other people that are like minded either on my side or Mitch's side or in between or whatever, or just have a perspective of their own, which is fine, which is fine. Cause a lot of times we need that in, in, in our conversation. Cause you know, maybe we are bounce back ideas, but you guys can give us a different angle. Anything yes. else, Mitch? No, no, no. Just, just stay tuned. It's going <laughs> to get better. It's going to get better. It's going to get bigger. Push it out to everybody.
Guarantee. And that's the uncomfortable truth. Hey! Bye bye. Roger that. Do something. <laughs> For sure. For sure. You know, if you don't want to see us, but you want to just listen to us, we on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, all of them, all of them. 